Well, hello there, folks, and happy Saturday to you. It's lovely to see you again as usual, and thanks for coming over just to spend the next five minutes with me, and I will show you what I picked up for the family food shop during the week, and I do hope that I find you very well indeed. But if you're new and it's your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We're a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland, but more often than not now, it is just me and Mr. Watts for tea, but I will run you through what I've got, and I spent just over £80 between Aldi and Tesco. So I got a couple of big packs of the natural yogurt. I did need some cheese. So I got the Red Leicester. Now I don't think there's a great deal of flavour between these sort of Aldi different types of cheese, but I think it's the colour that really makes a difference. Yeah, no major difference in the flavour though. I got a big pack of the Graham's spreadable butter. I think there's just more oil in that and it makes it a wee bit more or easier to spread. A couple of lemon mousses, and then I got a bottle of the posh milk. This is lovely in cereal, but it's a wee bit dearer than normal milk. I needed some grated or shaved parmesan. I like to put this on top of salad. So I got some of that. And then I tend to buy more eggs if I'm doing baking. So I picked up six eggs as well. And then a wee swede because swede goes at the side of most of the things that I make. A hand of bananas. These are now 18 pence each. I remember those were 12 pence per banana. So those have shot up. A big bag of our usual potatoes. And then a kilo bag of carrots, which are always brilliant value. I think these are around about 50, 60 pence. Yeah, brilliant value. And then I got a bag of the bistro salad just for sandwiches or maybe at the side of a baked potato or something. I'm going to be doing toasties during the week. So I've got the smaller toasty bread. This one fits perfectly in my wee toasty machine. So I got some of that and then some of these vine ripened tomatoes as well. These have got a lovely flavour off of them. They're always really nice, those ones. And then some blueberries just for yoghurt in the morning. And this is the ham for the toasties. I'm going to do cheese and ham toasties. We're going to be having haggis, neeps and tatties one night. I might put it in a pie, I'm not sure, but that's the haggis. For myself, I thought I'd get this just for a wee quick lunch and it looks a bit healthier than normal. So I'm not sure how I'm going to go on with this, but I quite like the look of it. I said, I'll get it, see what it's like. If I don't like it, you know, don't need to get it again. A can of chopped tomatoes. We're going to be having spaghetti bolognese at some point and then some sugar as well. A big sack of granola. This is the raisin and almond granola. Again, really good value for their own brand cereals. Well, I found anyway some bread flour for the bread maker and then I've seen this pizza dough. I've seen other people with this pizza dough. When you roll that out, you know, it's already round and it looks really easy. So I'm going to give it a go. Some puff pastry. We're going to be having enchiladas one night and I didn't realise these were gluten free. Not that it makes a difference, but it'll be interesting to see if there is a difference. A couple of cans of their own brand baked beans, which are absolutely fine. I got a large gammon joint for the slow cooker. I'm going to do pulled gammon rolls one night as well. I'm going to cook it in the slow cooker, let it cool down, then just pull it apart and pop it onto some rolls, probably with some wedges and salad. Some chicken breast fillets for the enchiladas. A double pack of chocolate digestive. Those are lovely with a wee dunk dunk and a coffee or a cup of tea. Some cayenne pepper. And I'm delighted they're still doing that because it's so much cheaper than the standard supermarkets. Some fresh spaghetti for a spaghetti bolognese. A couple of packs of this Pierce and Ding rice or microwave rice. I like just to have this in the cupboard to have in an emergency situation. Some furniture polish and also a bottle of bleach as well. A big bag of our usual frozen jacket potatoes. We go through these quite quickly, but they are really nice. Really nice for a tea, but really good for a lunch as well. Some surface wipes and then a big bag of corn mince. You know how I feel about corn mince. It's brilliant. And then some of these Cushel toilet rolls. And this one is actually rhubarb and raspberry scented. Now, I don't usually go in for this kind of thing, but it's so strongly scented, you know, and apparently it doesn't irritate, which is good. <laughs> so I will let you know how I got on with that, but it smells amazing. So thank you very much for watching. If you're leaving at this point, and a huge thank you, as usual, to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well, and for you all for watching, leaving your lovely comments, and for those that share the videos as well. You know, it's all 
very much appreciated. I'm very lucky to have you all, you know, and I do realise that because you don't have to be here watching my wee videos. So the fact that you are just, you know, it really does. It's, it's quite touching actually because I love to make the videos and the fact that you're here watching them and liking them and, you know, it just makes my day. So thank you so much and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe, shopping, unbagging or back tomorrow for meals of the week. So you take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon. Bye now.